What up guys, the real KJ3, and while scavenging through my stuff, I ended up finding an old version of the Raspberry Pi and I wanted to put it to good use. Until I had no ideas, except I remembered that I have a 8 inch Sony Trinitron and been wanting to make something to have a constant loop to play on it. And I figured, why not use the Raspberry Pi to do so? So the good thing about having the older version of the Raspberry Pi is I can either use HDMI or composite and 3.5mm audio to do the connections on this old monitor. But since I also have a HDMI to composite video adapter laying around, I'll just use the HDMI output from the Raspberry Pi and convert it to component to the Trinitron. I want to use as less cables as I can here, but now that I've got that figured out, I'm going to need my SD card and my flash drive for the video. So let's head over to the desktop and get a thing to do the thing. Alrighty guys, so the things you're going to need is your demo footage, the Looper 3 IMG file, I will leave a link for that in the description down below, and Win32 Disk Imager, link will also be in the description down below. Now, once you have Win32 Disk Imager installed, go ahead and insert your SD card. All right, now once you have that inserted, what you're going to do is you're going to close out of the window, open up Win32 Disk Imager. Where it says Image File, select the Looper 3 Image File. Now, make sure that the device it is targeted is your SD card and not any other external device. Leave hash alone and then go ahead and hit write. It'll bring up this message and when it does just go ahead and hit yes. And this may take about three or four minutes so I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward. All right now that that is finished you should be presented with you need to format disk and just go ahead and hit OK or cancel you'll see that you have two different drives now. You have one that is boot and one that is USB drive. When you select boot, you'll see these files here. Now what you wanna do is open the looper config file and you'll be presented with this where it says USB equals zero, change the zero to one. And now if you are using a older Raspberry Pi like I am and don't wanna use the HDMI as the audio source and you want to use the 3.5, you would change HDMI to local, L-O-C-A-L, -L, and then seamless, just go ahead and leave alone. They don't really make too big of a difference, at least that I've seen. But now that USB is set to one, that's all we need to do. So go ahead and go up to file, hit save, and then go ahead and close out. Now your SD card is all done. Now what you can do is eject your SD card. close out of Win32 Disk Imager. And now what you wanna do is insert your flash drive. Okay, now that you have your flash drive, you're gonna to wanna to format it into a certain format. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click on the USB drive, go down to format, and where it says file system, FAT32 default, change that to NTFS. Go ahead and hit start, okay. Should only take a couple seconds here, okay. Now, go ahead and hit OK, close, and then copy your video file over to the USB. Alrighty, now that that is complete, on the flash drive we're going to go and create a new folder and call it Videos. And now what you're going to do is you're going to click and drag that video into the Videos folder. So now on the flash drive you have a folder called videos and inside of it is the file that you want to play. A few things to mention about the video file as far as the Raspberry Pi goes and have it actually work and fit onto the Trinitron. I made the video file in MP4 format because to my knowledge the only video format that plays on this specific program is MP4. I did compile it in Sony Vegas and I made the video MP4 format with the frame width of 320 pixels by 240 because the actual 8 inch CRT screen of the Trinitron is somewhere around that area. So all that's left to do is just get everything assembled. So I'm gonna put my micro SD card in the adapter, put that into the Raspberry Pi. And now I'm gonna plug in the flash drive into the Pi as well. 
I should note, I am using SanDisk brand. I did use off-brand both USB flash drive and micro SD card, and it did not work. It didn't detect either the SD card or the USB, so take note of that. Anyway, next, all I gotta do is just plug in the HDMI, and then get everything plugged into the Trinitron. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, you can't plug an HDMI into a BNC or composite audio. So, I'm gonna use this BNC to composite video adapter. And then I'm gonna use this two into one composite audio adapter. And then using the adapter, plug everything into composite. And lastly, I gotta plug in the power to the Raspberry Pi. And now, it's ready to boot. So when I flip the switch, you can see nothing happens. No signal, no nothing. That's because we are using HDMI and the Pi outputs a video resolution that is way too large for the Trinitron. However, when it starts the program and loads the video, it will switch to the 320 by 240 format of the video I made, and that will be small enough for the Trinitron to work, and the video will display properly. Well, safe to say this project is a success. The Raspberry Pi is tiny enough to hide and it's ready for display. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you and your family are being safe and staying healthy during these hard times. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out my Instagram at TheRealKJ3 where I post upcoming previews to videos like this. And remember, stay safe, stay healthy. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.